I think all teachers can pretty much identify with that feeling Sunday night when it's not quite Monday yet, but your mind is already starting to transition into the school week ahead and you're thinking about your students. One of the things that are a challenge for me is finding text that is appropriate for all the different reading levels in my classroom. Coupled with that, when I think about the newcomers and the beginners in my classroom, it's really hard to find material that is appropriate for them that's engaging and it's also something that they're going to be able to understand. In this video, I'm going to share my top five favorite resources that I have used in my classroom that have really changed the game for my students and helped them to be engaged and help them to understand certain concepts that I am teaching. Also, I am going to throw in a bonus at the end of the video of a free resource that you can order and you can start using it in your classroom. Hi, I'm Dr. Hemphill, the Language Lady, and I post videos every week on tools, resources, and strategies for teachers all around the world to help meet the needs of their language learners in the classroom. If you're new here, I want to welcome you to the Language Lady community. Make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, please comment below where in the world you are viewing this from as I love to get to know my viewers. Please know that all of the links and resources that I mentioned in this video will be included in the description below. One of the hardest things to, to deal with as a classroom teacher is classroom management. And one of the reasons why students act up or do not pay attention or they're unfocused in class is because the material is too high for their level. Without further ado, I'm gonna share with you my five favorite resources that I use in my classroom to help increase engagement and ease the transition for students into reading. First on my list is a resource that's familiar to most teachers but is still worth mentioning is Newzella. Newzella is an online platform that houses articles on a wide variety of subject areas, starting with science, social studies, and ELA. The beauty of Newzella is that there's a free version and there's also a paid version which is called Pro. But in the free version, it unlocks a multitude of different subject areas and you can be teaching an anchor text that is at grade level, but then all of your students then when they're doing the independent part of the lesson can have the same subject and content area, but the article is at their specific reading level. And no one has to know and they all come out knowing the same information, it's just at a level that is readable for them. The beauty of Newzella is that a lot of the articles already have embedded follow-up activities that go with them and you can hook it up to an online platform like Google Classroom, for example. Number two on my list is a resource that's very similar to Newzella and it's called Rework. Let me explain to you how this resource works. One of my favorite features of Reworks is that they have curriculum supports and contained within that is the ELL collection. In addition, they have a human voice audio, which is great for students who benefit from having text read aloud to them. Then they also have grade levels that are from K to 12, and they also have nonfiction, fiction, and poetry. The third resource that is very new to me that I just discovered and I love utilizing it with my students is called DePaul Reading. It is a website that includes a multitude of different resources and I'm also gonna walk you through it so you understand how to use it for your students. The beauty of the DePaul Reading website is that it houses not only these types of fiction texts and nonfiction texts, but it also has different types of graphic organizers that can be used for social studies, science. They also have guides to common core thinking and they also have one page nonfiction readings from grades two all the way to grade 10. Resource number four is called News and Levels. A great resource that is very wonderful to use, especially if you're a social studies teacher or an ELA teacher and want to hone on on specific content and skills that they need in reading. News and Levels is a wonderful website that houses world news for students of English. They have tons and tons of articles that range from different topics that are having around the world. And I also recommend that you keep checking in because they're constantly updating the website. Each article houses three different levels. Level one for your newcomers beginners. Level two will be for your students at the intermediate stage of language proficiency. And last but not least, level three is for your students who are at the bridging to advanced stages of language proficiency. Within each article, they will also highlight in bold key vocabulary terms that may not be familiar to your students. 
But I also recommend it to, in addition to these vocabulary words and phrases that you also have them skim through the text and highlight any key vocabulary that is unfamiliar to them before diving deeper into the text. Then at the end of each article, there are there is a test that will test the reading, listening, writing and speaking skills. And resource number five and my most favorite resource that I've been using with my language learners is called Breaking News English. It has a wide range of language levels and topic areas that are appropriate for the students that are in your classroom. In Breaking News, they have various articles that are written from a level zero all the way to level six. They even have mini news lessons and they also have different topics ranging from business, environment, education, health, issues, lifestyle, people, and gossip, technology, world news. They even have additional activities like speed reading, speed listening, grammar, dictation, discussion questions, spelling, and prepositions. And there's so much more. I could spend so much time talking about breaking news English, but it is my favorite because you don't have to pre-plan or think about how to find or how to unpack this for a student who is at that level because it's already written at the appropriate language level for the student. Those are my top five resources that you can use in your classroom to help language learners access the text in your classroom. And as I promised in the beginning of the video, there is a free resource that you can order today and arrive in your classroom and you can immediately start using them with your language learners. And this is not sponsored, this is not ad, this is a wonderful resource from Saddleback Education Publishing Company and they produce books that are specifically tailored for language learners, all the way from newcomers and all the way to advanced level of learning English. And for example, this is a, a newcomer book that is about school expectations and that all the books are organized in a very similar way. They have books that are appropriate for elementary, but they also have it for middle and secondary. And as you can see, the, the, book, the pages have vi uh, vibrant um, pictures and the words are written in a way that is very simple that they can understand, but yet it's, doesn't, they don't feel like they're reading a baby book. When you order the books, I recommend that when you request them that you ask that you get a sample of all the language levels so that you can tailor them specifically to the language levels that are in your classroom. If you have any questions about how to identify students, make sure that you list that in the comment below. As always, thank you so much for sticking around and for watching. Please make sure to tune in next week when I produce another video for you on strategies, tips, and resources for your language learners. Bye.